A free gift to all my viewers and subscribers and it is not even Christmas yet. Today I will share 11 gradient map adjustments optimized for skin tones. So let's have a look at the document with the adjustments and show you how you can use it. The link to the document will be in the description. When you open up the document you can see the original image on the top left and the 11 gradient maps applied to the copies of the original. Actually, this is an interesting document and maybe it even needs its own tutorial. One cool feature of this document is that we can apply a single mask to all the previews. If you open up the adjustments group and then open up masking, there will be rectangles representing the effect. Open up a rectangle and enable the mask. This will enable the masks in all the preview images. You can then double click on a rectangle. Affinity will zoom in to that preview. If you select the mask, you can now modify the mask using a white or black brush. Notice how all the masks are linked. So adjusting a mask will apply it to all the preview images. Pretty cool. The next cool thing you can do is to change the preview image. With the Select tool, select the Test Photo layer in the Layers panel. Now double click on the layer in the Layers panel. This will open up the embedded document so you can modify this the way you like. I have provided a secondary image, so let me enable that one and close the document. This will update our main document. Awesome! As we change the original, we can now adjust the mask as I explained earlier or turn the masks off. I told you this was a cool document. Anyway, coming back to the main subject. How can we use these gradients? Let me give you a quick explanation. In the adjustments group, select one of the skin adjustments you like. Suppose we like version G. So I will select skin G and double click on it. This will open up the gradient adjustment dialog. I can now add this as a preset. As you might have noticed, I am not very creative with names, but let me at least give it a shot and call this preset Magnifique. Now I can go to a different document and from the adjustment panel under the gradient map, the preset we just added should be available. When I click on it, it will be applied. Just magnificent. As the adjustment will apply to the whole image, you might want to mask it. Let's do that by adding an inverted mask by option clicking on the mask icon. With the mask selected, I can now quickly paint with white on the skin area to get the magnific effect to the face. I'll remove the effect for the teeth and eye area. You probably would want those as wide as possible. The next thing you could do is to adjust the opacity to find a natural balance or another option would be to adjust the blend range so it gradually applies to the brighter areas. As you see, within a minute you have a much more interesting subject. I personally don't like too much presets, so what you could also do is copy the adjustment and paste it to another document and remove the clipping mask. A major disadvantage is that you will need to have this document open each time, so working with presets is much easier but again, that is a preference. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to add a comment if you like this freebie. Until the next video.